do artists have to pay sales taxes? The quick answer is yes. The longer answer is it depends on the type of artwork that you do. And because every time you bring in income from selling something, the government wants its cut. So it's basically Debo. Come on, Debo, Starly Mount. Where you got my 40, homie? I don't have nothing. Yeah, you got some. Why are you tripping, Debo? So that's why I want to talk about sales taxes and artists. So sales taxes is collected by the state in the county that you live in on tangible personal goods and sometimes digital goods as well, especially nowadays where everything is becoming digital. Many times sales taxes will not apply to a service. So many times when you're an artist and the type of art that you do is more so of a service or a performance, you don't have to really think about sales tax. So for an artist like myself who will make a lot of tangible items I have a sales tax license that sales tax license says that I can collect sales taxes on things that I sell so paintings canvases prints sculptures little art items everything that I can hold in my hand that I have to deliver all those different items sales tax applies to it so I collect sales tax anytime I'm selling a physical tangible item to someone in Colorado a lot of times if I have to do an art fair they will ask for that sales tax license. So it's really important to make sure that you have it in your back pocket. And if you started selling a ton of items before you had your sales tax license, just get your sales tax license and make sure you just start being more professional. I then collect that sales tax and then I give it to the state and the county. I do it quarterly for the state that I live in, Colorado, and I do it annually for Denver County. So every quarter and every year, I'm figuring out how much sales tax I collected, and then I have to give that to the state and to the county. It is timely and annoying and sometimes a lot of work to sort of calculate the sales taxes. That's why it's really good sometimes to have an accounting software that you can use to sort of separate that stuff. So that's why I try to do as much art that can be considered services. So I have to put an asterisk behind everything that I say because every state and every county across the nation is going to be different on how they deal with sales taxes. Every state and every county is going to have a different tax rate. There are going to be different ways of collecting sales tax. They're going to have different ways of you paying sales tax. They're going to have different categories and nuances on what is applicable for sales tax. So like I said earlier, sometimes digital goods, which aren't tangible, can be subject to sales tax. Sometimes it depends on what type of digital good is it. Is it a software? Is it an audio book? Is it music? Is that digital item going to be sent through the computer, email, or is it gonna be sent on CD-ROM, uh, USB? All that stuff matters. So you really have to do the research in your own state and county and figure out what exactly is subject to sales tax. So if you're creating comic books or you're an author trying to do audio books, you may be subject to sales tax. And the best way to do that is just go on Google and just put down sales tax and then the city and state that you live in. Look for the website that ends in .gov or .us that relates to sales tax to your state and to your county. There you can find a lot of that information. Another website that I recommend to kind of like give you a good guide on what sales tax rate is in your area and how it relates to other places around the country is sales tax handbook.com. There you are able to see the different tax rates, but also you're able to see what is taxable and what is not taxable. So if I look up digital goods in Idaho, I can see exactly what type of digital good is taxable and what is exempt. So the main thing that you need to do is just really reach out to that government office and figure out how you can get set up with a sales tax license like this and figure out basically how to get started in paying sales taxes on the physical and tangible goods and some of the digital goods that you sell because you don't want to get caught in a tax landmine which is an audit mainly because the more you grow the more eyes are looking at you the more w9s you send out there the more other people have your financial information so it's really important to make sure that you're professional when it comes to the finances and one of the most beneficial things that you can do is talk to an accountant in your area or a lawyer that knows about taxes they are the ones that can dig deep into your practice after you give them the details of your activities and where you want to go in terms of your art practice and they can figure out how to set up 
how you need to pay taxes and where you need to pay taxes and what items that you sell are subject to being taxed. So hopefully this helped out when it comes to just figuring out exactly what an artist should do when it comes to sales taxes. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so I can do more videos like this and I will see you next time. Peace.